Thank you, Jody. Good morning, everyone. RCMP in Maple Ridge are investigating after a man was shot last night. It happened just before 8 o'clock near 224th Street and 121st Avenue. Emergency crews were on scene in a matter of minutes after getting reports of several shots being fired. A man in his 20s had a gunshot wound to his leg. He was taken to Royal Columbian Hospital. He is listed in stable condition and is not cooperating with police. Officers believe that shooting is targeted and are still looking for a suspect. The cops showed up and stopped all that, and the paramedics came and all that jazz. So, wow. yeah, it was fun. Scared that? the crap out of my kids, that's for sure. Wow. So, Has this ever happened in this neighborhood? Uh, not in this specific area, no. I've heard of, you know, shot, shots fired in other areas of Maple Ridge, but yeah. it's the first time for us here. A Surrey family is homeless this morning after fire gutted their house overnight. Flames broke out shortly before midnight in a cul-de-sac in the 7600 block of 144A Street. There are reports three people were taken to hospital, two of them with burns and one with smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Students are being told to walk in groups as the hunt continues for a serial predator on the campus of UBC. It follows a third sexual assault in the last month. The most recent happened after midnight on Saturday morning. A 17-year-old student was walking on West Mall when a man grabbed her and tried to pull her into the woods. She was able to get away, but not before she was punched in the face. The suspect in all three attacks is described as a Caucasian man in his late 20s to early 30s, 6 feet 2 with a thin build. He has short hair and was wearing blue jeans and a dark hoodie, and he may have an American accent. Vancouver police have released surveillance video of a vehicle possibly connected to an assault from earlier this month. It's an older model dark minivan with sliding doors on both sides. The driver picked up a woman in Gastown who thought she was hailing a cab. The man allegedly took her to an area in East Vancouver, then beat her and sexually assaulted her. A bus driver is on the mend after being attacked by a passenger in Surrey early Sunday. The man was punched by the 16-year-old in the vehicle near Fraser Highway and 148th Street. The teen took off, but a police dog unit tracked him down. The boy was released to a parent and charges are pending. A rogue landlord who owes his former tenants more than $18,000 in damages is expected to appear in court today. George Walsey turned himself in after 10 civil warrants were issued for his arrest. Earlier this year, the residential tenancy branch ordered the downtown Eastside landlord to pay 10 former tenants damages to make up for the squalid conditions in his single-room occupancy hotels. But Walsey refused to pay up. The judge has ordered him to show up today and explain how he intends to pay the damages. A controlled fire is still burning at the site of Saturday's train derailment in Gainford, Alberta. A CN freight hauling, hauling crude oil and liquefied petroleum gas went off the tracks, causing two explosions. The incident has many calling on the Harper government to take stronger action to improve rail safety. Despite three train derailments in Alberta and Saskatchewan in the past month, CN insists its safety record for hauling dangerous commodities is excellent. Australian police have arrested two boys in connection with some of the fires that now rage across New South Wales. More than a dozen of the 62 fires burning in Australia's most populous state are considered to be out of control. Fires damaged or destroyed more than 200 homes and burned more than 287,000 acres of land. Australian police have arrested an 11-year-old boy and a 15-year-old boy, saying they intentionally started two of the fires just north of Sydney.